Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related content. So, if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to back up your media files from a Synology NAS to an external USB drive using USB copy. Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to back up your media files from a Synology NAS over to an external USB drive that's connected to the NAS using USB copy. Now you might be asking, why would you want to do this? Well, backing up is always a good idea. And if you're running a Plex server, you're probably accumulating tons and tons of media files. Having a backup is just a good practical thing to do. I can tell you of an experience I had with a customer who had a single drive unit. Now it wasn't a Synology unit and the brand will remain nameless. And the actual uh, network drive failed and there was no way that I could help them retrieve the files. So the customer sent the device back out to the manufacturer. Turns out the manufacturer was able to retrieve his media files and sent him back an external drive with all his files at a cost of about $700 later. So if he had had a backup of his media files from the get-go, he would have saved a ton of money. So that's why this is important. I want to show you how it's done. Okay, guys, so I'm signed into my Synology DSM, and I'm going to show you how to install USB copy from the package center. Now, I already have it installed on the Synology, but I'm going to show you for the first time how it's done. So let's go over and open up the package center. And from the search bar, type in USB copy and hit return. And from the return results, you'll see it's right here. Now, mine says open again because I already have it installed on the device. However, if you're doing this for the first time, it should say install just like the rest of these applications. So go ahead and click on install and let the program wizard get USB copy installed on your Synology unit. Now, once it's installed, you can open it from here or from the main menu. But before we do that, for the purposes of this video, I want to create a folder on the destination USB drive to where I want the uh, data files copied to. So let's go into the file station and let's click on the USB share and let's click on create folder and I'm going to call it Plex music and say OK. Once we have the destination folder created on the destination USB drive, we can close the file station and we can go up to the main menu and launch USB copy. Now, USB copy already has a default task using the copy button, the physical button on the front of the unit. But we're not going to talk about that today. Today we're going to talk about how to create a task that takes your data from the Synology unit and copies it over to the connected external USB drive. Now that being said, I already have a USB drive plugged into the front of my, my Synology device. So let's go ahead and click on the plus sign to create the task. We have three types of tasks we can create in USB copy. We can do a photo video import, we can do a data import, and we can do a data export. Now, we're going to focus on the third one, the data export, because we want the direction of the copy to go from the Synology unit over to the ex uh, connected external USB drive. So let's click on data export and say next. And the first thing we're going to do is give it a name. So I'm going to call it Plex Music backup. That's the task name. We're going to select the source folder, so where the music is stored on the Synology unit. So I'm going to go into my Plex folder, and I'm just going to use the sample music from the My Music folder. Now, I could copy my movies over. However, I have a ton of movies, and the copy process would take quite a long time. So we're just going to use the sample music files in the My Music folder and say select. Once you have your source selected, we're going to select the destination location. So let's click on the folders. The USB share comes up. And here's the folder we created in the last step in the file station. So I want the music to be copied over to this Plex music folder on the external 
USB drive. So we're going to say select. And then we have to pick a copy mode. So there are three copy modes to choose from. Multi-version, which is exactly what it says. It will create multi-versions of the data. Then there's mirrored, which will update anything that's added or removed from the source folder. Uh, it will sync the destination folder. So if something's added, it will copy it over. But if something's removed or deleted from the source folder, it will also delete it from the destination folder. And then there's incremental, which will add anything that's new, but leave anything that's deleted from the source folder on the destination folder. So if you delete something from your source location, it does not remove it from that USB external drive. For the purpose of this video, I want both folders to be exactly the same at all times. I'm going to create it using mirroring. So we're going to click on the drop down and say mirroring and say next. And it just gives you a warning saying that in the mirroring task, files on the destination will exactly be the same as those in the source, which is what we just talked about. Therefore, some files and changes in the destination may be lost. This action cannot be undone. And are you sure you want to proceed? I'm going to say yes, since this is the initial setup and there's really nothing on that destination drive at this time. Okay, next we have to make a couple of decisions here, whether we want to copy the data whenever the USB SD storage device is plugged in. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Again, this is up to you. I'm also going to uncheck where it says eject the USB SD storage device when the copy completes. Now, you might want it to eject at the end of the task because you might want to take that USB drive and store it in another location. For this case, this, the USB drive that I'm using for the purpose of this video is also a drive that I use for my time machine backups and it's always connected to the Synology unit. So I don't want it to eject after the task runs. So I'm going to remove the check mark. What I do want it to do though is run on a schedule. So I'm going to say enable schedule. It could run daily. That's fine. And the first run time, let's make it one o'clock in the morning. Okay. That being said, let's click on next. And then here you can select the types of file to copy. So I'm just going to leave this all set for by the defaults. I know there's only music files in the music folder, but you know, you could be selective here and filter things according to your needs. Let's go ahead and say apply. And the task has been successfully completed. It's not executed yet. And it's not going to run. Obviously, it's not one o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and run the task now. It shouldn't take too long to copy the sample files because there's not a lot of them. There we go. So successful last execution succeeded. You have the task name. We have the system event up here showing that the copy task was completed. It shows you the source, the destination, the last copy time, and the next copy time. So at this point, let's close out USB copy and let's go into the file station. And let's take a look at what's in the Plex Music folder. And there are a couple of the sample files. So if we open up, you can see there are all the uh, Rolling Stone songs right there. So a really simple way to just back up and protect your data in the event of a disaster. Save yourself a ton of money and be able to restore your data files pretty easily because you have now a second copy that's not on the NAS but on an external USB drive. So there you have it guys. If you liked this video, found it helpful, and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. You can help out the channel by remembering to subscribe, give the video a like if you haven't already, and share the video. And remember to use those Amazon affiliate links down in the video description below. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.